incorrect, Bill Maher. All right, let us meet our panel. He's a best-selling author and a nationally syndicated radio talk show host out of KRLA right here in Los Angeles, Dennis Prager. Dennis, where are you? And that's the good. Thank you for coming. He is a celebrated journalist, magazine editor, and the author of the book, The Trial of Henry Kissinger, Christopher Hitchens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. H. Words are not in the room. <laughs> He is a movie and TV producer and the silver tongued frontman of the number one tour band in the world from KISS, Gene Simmons. Gene? An attractive and powerful man. I haven't forgotten about the old Jew. All right, her new movie is Kingdom Come, and her kingdom is Hollywood Squares. Whoopi Goldberg. Hello, darling. Okay. All right. What a night. What a panel. What a show. Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, I wish we could just lollygag here, but uh, we have important issues to get to. Your book, Chris, always, I, you know, you are one of the great writers, I have to say. I don't agree with everything in here. You're not uh, supposed to. Right. It's about Henry Kissinger, and, you know, you're not the first to say that uh, he is responsible for a lot of the atrocities in Indochina. And, of course, with the Bob Kerry situation all in the news, I've been hearing nothing but Vietnam the last couple of weeks. And I have to tell you, it bothers me that there is this conventional wisdom that is in every article I hear, every article I read, every news report I hear about Vietnam was a wasted war. We should never have gone. Uh, I, I have said many times on the show, I thought it was a necessary war. You know, it was very nice for Ronald Reagan, an actor playing the president, to go over to the Berlin Wall and say, tear down that wall. That is not what won the Cold War. That was a wonderful money shot. It's true. What, what, it was a good photo op. What won the Cold War was we being, demonstrating to the bullies of the world that we would put ourselves on the line and spend lives. The Vietnam War didn't ha have to happen in Vietnam, but it had to happen somewhere. I think the problem, uh, sorry to interject, I think the problem... I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw the, the breath, the respectful breath. But what I was going to say was, I think there's a problem with media. Media basically warps all things. It, I, I believe that media polarized America. I was in college at that point. And so there was this kind of ranting and raving back and forth between the far left and the far right. Is this a politically motivated war? Right. Is it a military? Who cares? The idea is, pragmatically speaking, when are you going to stop the guy with the hammer and the sickle when he's knocking on your door? Right. However, let's, let's be pragmatic about this. I mean, and real. Uh, America didn't just enter the war because we were the good guys. There were other issues. There was oil and all that stuff. But I do agree with the right, although I don't perceive myself as that, with you've got to stamp your foot down. Yeah. Yes, it's always... On whom? On whom? Well, on whom would you... On who is this foot to be stamped down? You say you, lives had to be uh, lost to, uh, to prove your point, our point. Um, well, just take the case of Senator Kerry. That's 13 old ladies and women and children, do their lives have to be lost to make this point that the United States should be Well, I mean, the Russians... No, I don't think so. Um, the Russians... By 1966, by, 96, by 1968, Robert McNamara and Lyndon Johnson and all the people running the war had all said to their uh, friends at the Senate and to their friends at the CIA and the FBI, this war is over, it's lost, we should never have got into it. But we can't break that news to the American people yet. Right. Now, what, how does that going to sound to people whose uh, sons were lost in Vietnam after the war had been given up on by, the political, by the political class. Th those are all legitimate that questions. Sound? They but, are very but, legitimate they questions. Are, but Bill, Bill it's nice of you to say so, but, that's, well, but no, 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 no. I haven't got my trousers off yet. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> Is that a British term that I'm not familiar <laughs> with? I, I, Should I, I, I move I know, over? I know. <laughs> <laughs> not, as I was saying to Mr. Prager, not, not yet. Not okay. yet. Not, not right. yet. Okay. It's, I, I'm grateful for him for telling me what I already know, that these are legitimate questions. In 1968, there was a peace agreement 
being made in Paris by Lyndon Johnson and the US government, the elected government, uh, to uh, begin an orderly withdrawal from what was obviously a fiasco, if not a crime, in Vietnam. The Nixon campaign went to the South Vietnamese military leadership and said, if you sabotage those talks and pull out of them and wreck the 1968 elections, sabotage, undermine them, which is what actually happened, uh, then we'll give you a better deal. We'll, we'll continue the war on your terms for four more years. Look at the Kerry stuff. Look at the time. Look at the place. The time is 69. The war is being extended illegally and secretly by, as a result of a secret deal involving Nixon and Kissinger. What do you mean by illegally? illegally. When, 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 what, what, what war? I'm so glad you asked. Wait, wait, because before the, you answer because, that, before yes. you answer that, I have a I just want to interject so people don't think I'm asleep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or a potted plant. Just Ms. to answer you. Ms. Goldberg is not a potted plant. No, I'm not. She's not. Not now. <laughs> um, to answer what I think was your question, yeah. with my opinion, mm -hmm. is no, we knew before we went in that this war was unwinnable. The French had been there forever. Yeah. And one of the reasons the that we went in was because we did so miserably in the Korean War that we needed to, I feel, we needed to sort of bring ourselves back up to what America was supposed to be championing. And instead of paying attention, they went in and wasted lives and all See, these, wasted, and all, uh, you know, I got family on the wall. These are wasted lives. Wait a second. They're so, not wa yeah. w Sometimes wasted lives are unwasted lives. In Korea, they fought a, a battle called Hill 53. And mm. When it was over, they said, it had no strategic value. Why did we fight it? And the guy said, that's the point. It had no strategic value. We had to show them. The point we were willing to you know do what? that. The I'm Russians sorry. lost 20 if, million unless people you, in unless World War II. Have for me. But okay, it, unless you have a damn good reason to be somewhere, don't ask my... Excuse me, let me finish my point. <laughs> don't ask my brother to go and do it. Absolutely. Don't ask, my, is, bro don't ask my brother to go and fight and, unless you can explain yeah. why to me. And, 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 and don't why know why was it not a damn good reason. Why was it not a reason. was very, very clear remember, about okay. what went on. Yeah. And basically, Mr. McNamara said, look... We knew it was over, and we did nothing about it. That's um, wasted okay. lives to me. Okay. That's why is it not a damn good reason? Murder. Why is... <laughs> well That's what I mean. <laughs> why is fighting communism not a damn good reason? Fighting Nazism was a damn good reason to sacrifice right. your brothers. Why was fighting communism morally different? I'll tell you. Because, to me, I'm not sure that communism is necessarily a bad thing. Come on. Well, well, hold on. I think, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, let me, you have to... That's, that's what I've said it that's, before. But well, that's a remarkable that's a, statement. Well, it shouldn't be, because if you look at... They have murdered the, more people than If you than look the at did. the bottom line of what communism is, it is you and I working together for a... That's now, the that's theory. Mark, okay, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. That's not what we were fighting. Carl well, Marx wrote a... How do we know we, what we were fighting, Because Bill? we knew how it was... We know? Oh, come but on. How, you we think didn't those know people... What... Bill, when did we get into World War II? You, did we get in when we knew the Jews were being eaten up by... Oh, I'm sorry. I almost said the F word. Um, you can when say we the knew F word. That the Jews were beaten up by by Adolf Hitler? No. It took right. us years to go in. We knew what the hell was going on. Well, why did it take so long? I mean, I'm not sure that I agree. Because Joe McCarthy, was he fighting communism? What was he well, really no, doing? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yeah, we, we are. No, no, I, but Joe you're McCarthy talking about communism. A, Joe McCarthy was, was, a, was a demagogue. That has nothing to do right. with the idea of fighting communism, you know what? which is as noble as fighting Could fascism. I just, uh, yes, I mean, I do. don't want to dis no, I don't want to disown you or disagree with you, but no, I, I just right. think I would add this. To, it I would add this to because what, what you said before shouldn't be forgotten. You're quite right. If you have, if you, if your family has names on that wall, you're entitled to say you were lied to about it, and they were not just wasted, but I think they were murdered by the state. I don't think oh, it's, that's uh, nonsense. Uh, no, it's, it's, the, it's the least you can say. I mean, it's but wait. Now, the, it, it, you look it up, and you won't believe it, but the government of the day, Mr. Dean Rusk, Mr. McNamara, said, we are in Vietnam to stop the Chinese communists from taking over Indochina. Right? That's what they actually said. You don't disagree. I'm pleased to see. What did Mr. Nixon and Mr. Kissinger do? They flew to Beijing to have a photo op with a love-in with Mao Zedong as their way out of the war. You, I'm not going to hear from these people that they were anti-communist or anti-Stalinist. But anti Tung, there's oh, another well, guy well, who killed millions and millions Nixon's of people. Problem. You speak it's as if we live in a world that is a vacuum. No, no, that's you have to counteract the worst problem. people.
Of people in the world. Well, the, what, what are they doing? The point. That? What are they the, doing? That's that? my bill. That's I tell you, Bill, I have lived to agree with focus. you. It's, right. It's I mean, yeah. but I mean, it's just reality. It is. It's it's reality. What you have done. Here's the question. Yeah. Let's say Dean Rusk is bad. Casper Weinberg is talking out of his. But everybody's talking different things. You you can't get involved in the in the uh, detail. All here's the question for all. I beg your pardon? I think the details matter, actually. Yeah, but the overall idea they is They said they were fighting Mao Zedong, and then they went and threw their arms around. So them. let's say they're not, and let's say, say what it's all about is oil, okay? And let's... Not in Indochina, it is. Okay, so it's about some other idea. It's not about politics. At the end of the day, if we weren't going to step up and do something physically there, I ask you, I ask all of us, I, I'm neither Democrat or Republican. I have issues with both those guys. I think everybody's full of hot air. So the question for all of us is... If not there, where? That's the question for you. Okay, I gotta take a break. This is interesting, but I have to take a break. Right. We're not going to leave Vietnam like that, are we? What's that? We're not going to leave Vietnam just like that, are we? We're not going to leave Vietnam? That was our original problem. We couldn't leave Vietnam. <laughs> you want to well, stay again? I, no, I have an entry strategy. An entry strategy? A, a, a term I hope you don't borrow from me. Um, no, he, cha he challenged me, and I should say. I was, um, I was just said, asking. Said, what, sh what should or should not be done against communists? Well, you know, the Nelson Mandela was arrested on, on information given to the South African police by the, by the American Central Intelligence Agency because they were fighting communism. Are you for that? Is anything done against communism okay with you? Would be my question. Listen, the, we the, war, the, war the greatest Vietnam, mass murder the war, the war in Vietnam. The, 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 war, the war in Vietnam you, was you, a war fought by the Vietnamese for independence against the Japanese, against the French. And the United States government made the hideous mistake by lying repeatedly to its own people of inheriting that terrible war, and they, they threw away right. the lives of many, many Americans. And they lied, they, they, they undermined American democracy, right. and they killed probably but my, three million Vietnamese for right. nothing at all. And Bob Kerry is being but asked. But it wasn't Bob for Kerry nothing at all. Asked, no, Bob that's what you're right. wrong. Bob Kerry was ordered to kill those what people. What was it for? Bob it was so was that Reagan could stand there and say, tear down this nonsense. wall. And what? at that point, the Russians could nonsense. go, you know what? The Americans have proved to us that they are willing to stand up to the bully. But if we had not fought Vietnam, Reagan couldn't have had his photo op. And this Cold War would never have and ended. Who's the bully and in they... the village? Who's the bully in the village when Bob Kerry and his friends shoot 13 civilians? Yeah, no one is... Wait, who's the bully there? Under orders, because it's a free fire no, zone, no, no, no. and you can kill anyone. Of when you that play the woman and children in Dresden. Exactly. exactly. What about funny. the women and children in Dresden who were killed by right. Allied bombers? There were far more no, uh, German city. civilians do, killed. Do not profane. Do you not would profane, be speaking do not German profane right the struggle, now. Do not profane the struggle against Nazism. Like, do not profane it, I repeat, no, no. by comparing it to, to the action of, a, of someone who acts like a Nazi and rounds up civilians and kills them. Stalin killed under, as many Jews since I'm wrong. Exactly. You know what? I make no distinction between Stalin and Hitler. But here's, but here's the thing. Here's the thing about the whole thing. When you send people to war, when you make young men soldiers, these are ordinary cats coming out of neighborhoods, coming out of nice suburbs, and they're put into extraordinary situations. I'm afraid that I feel that Bob Kerry probably did what countless people did in Vietnam, it's probably not. panicked and killed a whole lot of people. But Whoopi, it's not fair to say they that. Were under, wait, 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 well, yeah, because anyone who moved in that area answer. could well have been an I enemy. It was a lucky war. Oh, wait, 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 I have a question for you. If you move what, free well, well, let me ask you. What, there is evil in the account. world, you would agree? Yeah. There is evil and there evil men? Evil. Yeah. There yes, Henry, Henry Kissinger, I've written a book about it. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned it. <laughs> right. How do you counteract you evil? How do you stop evil if not with greater... Force. Tough, I mean, tough, 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 but how else do you counteract evil? How else do you stop but whose it? evil are we talking about, though? Well, the, the communist empire was evil, and it was bent on world domination. And at a certain point... Not like the, us. Not in Indochina. No, no, I don't agree. No. No, 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 I don't no. think so. I mean, I, I, the countries I mean, that we liberated became democracies. Absolutely, absolutely not. Democracy absolutely not. But that's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Listen, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I only pose the question. We also would like to run the world. What country does everybody try to sneak across the border? 
border to. But I'm going to the I'm getting there. Who cares? But that but, illustrates my point. You know, every Where are you going to run if you're being carpet bombed? Where are you going to run if you're being carpet bombed? But what is carpet bombing if you're being carpet bombing? Now? Right now, no one is being carpet no, bombed. There were no refugees. But if you lived, there were no people refugees from carpet bombing. You can't escape it. Okay. You can't there were both people. The regime. There were both people. Escape, you can't escape mass murder from the air. And if anything you say is true, ask yourself this: Why, if if this is anything you say is true, is Henry Kissinger now taking money from the Chinese Communists to defend their right to shoot oh, their God. students? What are we talking about? Why is that? Henry Kissinger is, is your biggest bet noir. Are you going to take that? Are you going to take that from Kissinger? What do you think it was like to live under a communist regime before communism came to an end? I'll tell you in part what it was like because I lived in East Germany. You lived in East Germany? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Whoa. And so when I say to you the things that I say, it comes from a different place. Do I think that communism, as it's worked by men, works? Do I, no. Do I think that democracy often works in certain societies? No, we're seeing Russia implode, because it's not working. We haven't given it enough time. Because it's not democracy. Well, but they think but, it is, but, and we said it is, and now it's altering. You know, there are changes happening in Cuba, which everyone is happy for, but we're still, in, <laughs> we're still smoking our Cuban cigars, are Wait, we not? What year did you live in I East Germany? Yeah. I lived in East Germany in 1979, then 1980, 1981, and we snuck in. And what was that like for a sister? It was very, very interesting because it was all artists. We were living with artists. And so they would talk to me and say, listen, can you bring the next time you come, can you bring this, 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 and this? Yeah, and when we came in next downtown. year, we brought what we could, and we hung out and we did theater. We did theater with these East German artists who are, you know, trying to figure out, as youth always does, because they're the children of the people who got chopped off in the center. But did you not find yourself to be in a suffocating society where people were spied upon, where people did not have freedom, where people lived in a gray, morbid world? Bill, let me tell you something about not how free. it works. If you've never known anything else, which a lot of the kids that we were working with did because we were young, then it seems perfectly normal. Would you say we that about slavery? Would I say what about if it was you perfect? Know nothing no, else but slavery. <laughs> if you worked, if what it. Would you, how do you defend a system because people didn't know something better? Well, then how do you defend it? Because first of all, because we do know something good. better. Because yes. there is a higher good, whether That's you why. know it exists there, or not. Yes, but that, if you don't know, then your life, your everyday but life. But they did know. They did know. They had TV. The, they did talk, know. No, I'm talking That's about. That's why the there case. was a wall built so the people young wouldn't leave. People. It's but, okay. but what sort of an answer is that? I can't answer because I have five guys asking me a question. Your question was, Rice. how was it? I said, for me, it was interesting because these guys did not act as though they were repressed and oppressed. They did not move on an everyday level that way. And when you ask me about slavery and would I defend slavery, you know, in 1955 in Montgomery, Alabama, I made, I made a movie recently, the last couple of years, called Long Walk Home. And when I went to make this movie, my attitude was, if I had been here then, those people wouldn't have done this to me because I would have stood up and told them. You know, these ladies who walked those six miles that way and six miles that way said to me, you know what, we, did, we couldn't have done that because they would have come in the house and that, hung the kids. Right. So, right. we did it differently. We did it this way. People fight it differently. So when you ask me about the oppression and was it, no, it wasn't. The way people were fighting what they didn't like in East Germany was through art. Okay. I gotta make a little money for capitalism right now. Right, can I ask you know the audience a question? I mean, it is. Can I, can I yes. ask a quick question? Please. I'm just, this is totally nothing to do with Vietnam and I'm very curious. Yeah. Would you just applaud if you believe that you're being hurt by secondhand smoke now? <laughs> <laughs> right. Isn't, it, isn't that great? You're and not, not just wrong, you're stupid. Yeah. Okay, can I just tell you that? And none of them have one. There's a thousand noxious fumes in the air in America. So America causes cancer. None of them cancer. have to stay, and if they don't care for it, they can. Right. It's so easy to pick out the one and evil, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. I have many evils. I also smoke. Right. You know. This is, uh, this is uh, sort yeah, of analogous so. to Vietnam. Yeah, I know. What's the issue on the table, Uncle Bill? I have the issue. I got to take a commercial. This is amazing.